Hey you, it's that time again. Time to annihilate all those mealy bugs before they even come out. So today I'm going to show you how I did it and I'm going to tell you all about the pesticide that I just bought. And I hope you guys love it and make sure that you like and subscribe. that I saw. <laughs> what in the heck? Oh, and you just decided to just huh, grow like that, huh? Okay, I got it. It's hilarious. It is too funny. Let's see what else is funny. Nothing's funny. Everything's Growing nice and strong. So, um, this is what I'm doing today, guys. I'm. The day is the first real sunshine. Yay. So I'm spraying everything that's not in direct sunlight um, with my my new pesticide. That's um, for specifically for um, mealybugs. So I'm going to sp spray every single thing here that's not under direct sunlight. Okay y'all, this Echeveria Darren Berge Painted Lady, I believe that's what it is. Um, at least that's what it said on the, the uh, pot when I got it and it is so packed. I can't even, I'm supposed to thin this out, I think. Um, but it's so packed that I can't even get inside there. Like, how am I even supposed to do that? I'm just wondering. This is, this is crazy. And then this is, no, this is okay. I can get into in between. I mean, look, it moves. Like, you can actually get in between, but this one, Oh my goodness, <laughs> like don't even touch us. We want to be together and no one can get in between. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure something out because I don't know, I don't even think it's hurting anything if they're in a cluster like this. However, what if I wanna propagate them? I don't know. It's just baffling to me. Look at my Ioniums. That's a close-up. But look at my Ioniums. It's not pretty. Like, they're so huge. And over there, uh, that Kalanchoe in the back there is just being in the background. And look at this. My jade plant. These were so small in the beginning. This is a mini jade right here. But these two were just one stalk and like they're just crazy growing. Crazy growing. This right here was a Fred Ives, one of the Fred Ives leaf that fell off the Fred Ives that died. It died on me. Um, but look. It has been replaced by this beautiful little baby. Oh, nice. I'm hoping that it makes it. Hopefully. It's a very slow go, very slow pace um, in growing. But yeah. And then today I picked this is Julesis. Julesis. Echeveria right here. It's not pretty. So yeah, I just took it out of this whole cluster right here. Um, yeah, I'm just removing all the water that's sitting there because that is just a recipe for disaster right there. I already like broke off this one, one leaf. Um, but yeah, no, the um, Echeveria imbricata is doing really well with all this rain and stuff and then this is the Echeveria pulidonis that is 
also very prolific and growing. I have the Lilacena over there. Look at the beautiful pale blue. I don't know. I mean, it looks green to me, but then when you put it against like the Echeveria Imbricata right here or the, the Black Prince right there, it just becomes so pale and it's so blue. Isn't that weird? I think the next um, giveaway is going to be one of these paddle plants, I mean, um, propeller plants right here. Because um, I'm getting a lot of it and it needs to be thinned out. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do like a contest or something. Like whoever can give me the most subscribers. <laughs> We'll get a plant. Look at this um, crested Jennifer right here. Is that pretty? And then against the green and against the pale purples and blues over here, it just it just pops. It just makes it pop. We're gonna get a lot of rain tomorrow or uh, Monday, and so I'm looking in here just to see how everything is doing so that I could. You know make tweaks and whatever I need to do um, I'll show you something this right here this plant right here what is it called campfire crassula campfire right here last year this was really really red for some reason it's not red anymore for some reason um, but this is still red. This is the one from last year. But the new ones, it seems like it's back to green. Have no clue why that is. Maybe it needs to be more stressed. Maybe when we get, um, which I doubt we're going to get any more, um, like really, really cold weather here. Um, this may not ever turn red. Maybe maybe in a couple years when we get back to the same kind of weather that we had a couple years ago or uh, last year because see how red this is and this was even deeper red to begin with um, and I make sure that I want to take out all of these um, all of these dead you got to do some dead heading here this was struggling, but apparently it likes the fall weather because it is back to its normal self. Which one is this? Can't read it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have to look at it. Oops. I have to look at it under um, good lighting. Yeah, that's all you do because this will attract the mealybugs. And apparently because it's cold, they're not around yet. They're still in the hibernation or, uh, yeah, whatever you call that, where they're still trying to lay their eggs or hibernation, I think. Uh, yeah. What is this? Cross along. It's a cross along something I need to relabel because look the labels that I put in there even though it was uh, wood burned it still got erased I don't know how I'm gonna approach this maybe some of you have some good advice on how to label it when I went to the Ruth Bancroft um, nursery or uh, the succulent garden she had um, she had it like engraved in metal but that's a whole lot of work I don't know if I can do that
Hi guys! So, okay, uh, we are now in the, uh, the end part of this whole pesticide thing. I have done all of this area right here. I didn't just spray for the for the plants. I also sprayed around like where there's um, soil. And tonight I'm going to actually put some of that solution inside the um, the sprayer that goes on that attaches to the hose, so that I can. Where's that thing? Oh, it's right there. Let's see that green thing. Yeah, that's it. Um, so I can do like all of the cement areas and everything so that um, if any eggs are growing right now, it would die. And also, I did the areas where there's no sun, the sun is not coming back around here anytime today. So I did that so I can get that done and then in the afternoon, late in the afternoon when the sun is uh, out away from that area over there, this whole area over there, it's probably not going to take long, maybe around 3 o'clock, the area actually over there will be shady and so I can start again. Um, but tomorrow I'm going to put the solution into the sprayer and spray the rest of the cement areas and the, maybe the front later on this afternoon so that um, it, they are completely gone but uh, I have um, this whole area to do this is like the worst because it's like the biggest part but I did over there the salvia back around the back of it um, doing it again later on this afternoon that area just that area where it's really really wet um, and this area over here where all my babies are growing um, it's just babies growing look at all the babies growing <gasps> wow this plant right here I don't know what it wants I was in the sun and didn't like the sun. I put in a shade. I didn't like the shade either, so I don't know. I got it. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's what I'm doing today, guys. In the garden. Uh, let's see. There's some that are flowering, actually. Like this guy right here is flowering. Look at the flowers. It's kind of weird. Oh no, this is like this guy. <laughs> and this one right here. I need to remove that because that's attractive to mealybugs. We don't want that already. Look, there's already mealybugs. Uh, this, look at this beautiful flower right here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Carefully, carefully just sprayed everything, everything. So hopefully this year the mealy bugs are going to be controlled. So I got this guy right here. I sprayed all on the leaves. Every part of it's here wet. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for the sun to go down on that side. And I'm going to get right back on it. 5.30 in the evening and I just got done spraying each and every one of these plants, even in the front. But for now I only did the actual succulents. Tomorrow I'm going to spray the whole yard, even the cement, everything. So I'm hoping that this one little precautionary measure will at least keep the mealybugs at bay this year. And then if it works, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to do it again um, in seven days because it said seven days from now, even these guys here, all the babies, 
I sprayed them. Um, seven days, every seven days until there's no more signs of mealybugs. Then you can just repeat it every 14 days. So I figure I'll probably do three more treatments and then go from there. That's it guys. Thanks for thanks for showing up. Bye.